Welcome to Little Steps Big Gains. In this video, I'm going to show you five top exercises that can improve your sitting balance through core trunk strengthening. We are going to use a very expensive piece of equipment, a broom. And if you want to know how to make this more difficult, be sure to stay after. Number one, a kick and punch. To do this exercise, one should keep their broom at their chest for posture. From here, we kick one leg and punch with the opposite arm. And when we bring that arm back, we squeeze the shoulder blade. So it's a kick and punch and a squeeze. The advanced version of this is to press the opposite leg down. So it's a kick and punch with a press and then a squeeze back. One can do 15 to 20 on each side. Number two, march and pull down. To do this exercise, one should start with the broom up in the air. From here, we lift one knee while we pull the broom down and up. To make this exercise more difficult, we can take one side of the broom and touch the outside of the knee and then the inside of the knee. One would benefit from doing this 10 to 15 times. Number three is a sideways kick and punch. To do this exercise, take the broom in one hand, thumb facing up. Extend the opposite knee. From here, kick to the side while punching in the opposite direction. One can make this exercise more difficult by keeping the elbow straight the entire time. One can benefit from doing this exercise 10 to 15 times on each side. Number four, ankle pumps with arm presses. To do this exercise, one starts with their toes up. From here, we press our toes down and our arms out. Our toes come up and we pull. Toes down and press, toes up and pull. The advanced version of this is to squeeze the butt muscles at end range. One can benefit from doing this 10 to 15 times. Number five, step overs with arm tilts. To do this exercise, one starts with their elbows up. We take one leg, step it up, over and out, and tilt. Keep the elbows up to get a nice stretch. From here, we step in and center, step out and tilt. The advanced version of this is to step and press the foot into the ground back to center. One would benefit from 10 to 15 times. A few quick tips. Throughout all of the exercises, tighten the abdominals to stabilize the spine. Two, count out loud so that you do not hold your breath. Three, if you're struggling doing the exercises correctly, only do the arms or only do the legs. And four, turn on some music and have a good time. These are five top core trunk strengthening exercises that can improve your sitting balance. For one who wants to take it to the next level, they can use ankle or wrist weights, tie TheraBand to each side, and or duct tape a weight to a toilet paper roll. If you found these exercises helpful, please press like below, subscribe, and check out the description to stay tuned for the 30-day Balance with a Broom Challenge because together, little steps, we can make some big gains.